guys, I missed you, how's it going? You know what, I'm going to participate at a film making contest. And the person with the best green key will go down in history as the best filmmaker of all time. So that has to be me, but what if I lose? That would kill my reputation and the Premier Basics channel. Because you would all just stop watching it. No, I can't let that happen. But okay, we can do this. Now, a quick tip before you even start shooting, increase the shutter speed so that you decrease the motion blur. That way the keying will be easier. But shh, don't tell anyone, that's a secret. Also, set the ISO as low as possible. The higher you set this, the more grain and noise will become visible. And of course, make sure that the green screen and yourself are still bright enough to key out. Now, I already made my shot, but I made one mistake when shooting my green screen shot. I accidentally set up my green screen wrong, and there are like tons of wrinkles in it. And I don't have time to reshoot, so we're gonna have to fix it in post. First, move the playheads to the first frame and click the pen tool. Create a mask around yourself, but leave a little bit of space between you and the mask. Now, so you can do this very roughly. Set a mask pad's keyframe and then move a little bit forward and then adjust it. Keep doing that until you have something like this. And now we only need to key out the greens around the talent and we don't have to worry about the other stuff anymore. Next, find the ultra key effect in the effects library and drag it onto the clip. Now find the key color and click the color picker then select the greens in your video. Now try holding down control before you click because then it will select a bigger range of colors or in other words, more greens. All right, we're one step closer to winning that contest, but I'm not there yet. I need to get rid of the leftovers from the green screen. But to do that, I'm gonna dive deeper into the ultra key settings. First, set the output to alpha channel. This will make everything we keyed out black and the rest is white. And that makes it easier to see what we're doing. Now let's take a look at the first control of the match generation, which is transparency. This one controls the entire image. So if you drag it down, it will also cut away parts of the skin or close. So if this is not needed, just don't use it. Highlights controls the opacity of the whites and shadows does the same, but for the darker areas. You can use both of these to tweak your key. The tolerance will control the range of the color selection. Avoid using this because it can select colors that you don't want to cut out. With better still, you can filter out noise from the alpha channel. This is very useful when you made a video in low light. Next, let's take a look at the matte cleanup. The choke literally chokes your video. It crops a little bit in the edge. Now, this cuts away the greens, but it also affects the talent. And since we're gonna do something better, but you're gonna have to wait for that till the end. Soften will remove the noise in the edge. This will kind of work like a feather, so it can make the edges a little bit blurry. However, be careful with that. It can start looking fake, and we don't want the judges to see that it's not real. Contrast will separate the talent from the background, which in our case helps to remove the green spill at the sides. This control can be useful, but try to use them as little as possible. That's, by the way, for all of these controls. Don't overdo any of them or your keying just doesn't look good. Now, if the key still isn't perfect, no worries. I still have some tricks up my sleeve. But before we do that, first, let's find the background for my video. Oh, and I really like this one. I found it on Storyblocks, which is today's sponsor as well. All you have to do is click the download button and then it appears in the project window. And drag it underneath the clip and voila. With this plugin, you can download an unlimited selection of professional assets, which you can use to spice up your videos. And this is super time efficient because there's no need to go outside of Premiere anymore. And you've got access to more than a million video assets right in here. Now let's say we put myself in this beautiful field. Well, that's awesome, but the light coming from the sun doesn't reach me because I'm not actually there. We need to fake that. So let's search for a light flare. Drag it above the clip and set the blend mode to screen. Now turn down the opacity and look at that. You can also find green screen clips to make your videos even better, funnier, or just more creative. And all of this in HD or 4K resolution. Sound designing helps you so much to make your edit more realistic. For example, let's find some singing birds in their library and drag it underneath your clips. Beautiful. Now besides a huge library with more than a million high quality royalty free stock assets, they also have Storyblocks Maker. This is an online video editor that is super easy to use. There's absolutely no experience required and with the smart resize feature, you can create content for every social media platform. So take back creative control with Storyblocks unlimited royalty free stock library and tools today by clicking the first link in the description down below or you can 
just go straight to storyblocks.com forward slash Premiere Basics. And now let's go back to our green screen video because there are still some tweakings that need to be done. I keep having difficulties with the green key. Ah, I don't want to lose this contest. Guys, if I lose, please keep watching Premiere Basics. All right, let me think. I can fix this. Let's head over to the Lumetri Color and go to the HSL tab. With the color picker, select the green screen. Then adjust the HSL so that only the greens are selected. Let's push some more saturation or green into it to separate the talents more from the background. Also decrease the contrast to make the differences less noticeable. And finally decrease the sharpness to make the green softer and kind of like remove the noise from there. By doing this preparation, it should be easier to pull the green. So let's try and do that. All right, this is going pretty good. Now we still have this green edge around me and it's pretty hard to remove, just like a mosquito that you can't get rid of. Now I know a little secret that can help you out with that. Create another Lumetri effect and this time, make sure that your second Lumetri effect comes after the green key. In the Lumetri effects, go to the HSL tab. We're gonna select the greens again and now this time, we're gonna pull down the saturation. There you go, that should do the trick. Now you can also try to decrease the exposure of the greens or add a little bit magenta into it, which is the counter color of green. It's going to depend a lot on the background that you're gonna work with. And now the green key looks awesome. But there's a moral to the story, guys. Always set up the green screen as tight as possible, no wrinkles. And you can use stuff like rocks or sandbags, whatever keeps it straight. Now, although the green key is much better right now, and I'm pretty positive that I'm gonna get first place, the submission date was yesterday, so... I I kind of got like last place, which is unfortunate. And now that you know how to get the perfect green key, it is time to get started with color grading to match your subject perfect together with the background. And you can check the video here on the left to see how that is done. Thank you for watching and as always, stay creative.